Big ounce is alive, and that's all that matters. I don't know what he's trying to do to this plant. No, no, no. Fortnite ball. We can stand on this thing. That's right, guys. I trapped my dogs in a bus just sitting there on the ice. An ostrich can actually go about two weeks without having water. There's even a frozen water bug down there. So let's see which of my animals died last night. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of the great Texas freeze. It says feels like negative five degrees right now. And boy, do I have an update for you guys today. Today. today we are just going to be checking to see how many of my animals died last night so let's go ahead and take a look starting with ounce topia i looked on the thermometer last night from inside and it said that it was 25 degrees at one point <gasps> bigger than ounce or ten so i put this heater in here and these guys are all nice and warm take a look at this little baby boy now it says it is 50 degrees in here so it is nice and toasty big ounce <laughs> Oh, good morning. Big Ounce did, in fact, survive. Makes sense because he is our fattest soldier. In fact, he probably has the most body fat of all of the animals here with respect to his size. So Big Ounce is our little victor. But that's wonderful. So we did, in fact, save the life of Big Ounce with this heater. Uh, the other guys, I assume, are somewhere buried under here. Should I just walk around the whole farm with him on my shoulder like this? But let's see if the other ones are in here. Anybody deal? Okay, I don't know where the other prairie dogs are, but Big Ounce is alive, and that's all that matters. Look at this precious baby boy. Well, he will be nice and warm and safe in this adorable little place and his water is nice and not frozen. Let's go check and see if the ponds are frozen now. Goodbye, Big Ounce. Oh, because it was so cold last night, Queen and Poggers were not protecting the farm. They were just hanging out in this bus, which I filled to the brim with hay and some food and water. And there's even ice in here. I also didn't get any sleep last night because I was just checking on the animals the whole time. We got rid of all the fence rolls and all the other trash in here. And these are the last two we have left. If anyone would like to buy these, they still have the tags on them. Uh, this one's an eight footer. Before I go in and check on these animals, I'm going to check on the ostrich in the back, Homelander. Wow, this entire trough is just frozen over let's see how thick this ice is whoa there's even a frozen water bug down there there's two of them two frozen water bugs i'm gonna use this crescent wrench to see how deep this ice is oh my gosh we can stand on this thing i have never seen a freeze this deep in texas this is insane okay enough of this southern boy freaking out over some ice like i said the chimkins are healthy there's some wild robins drinking out of my pot we only have two cold ducks here right now all these other chickens are doing well as you can see but they do look pretty cold as well maybe i'll herd them all in there after this but yeah guys i cannot find those other two call ducks and i'm getting a little nervous we still have this little male and female pair and this little guy that tank and i rescued from downtown but it's crazy to see this pond frozen over like this sadly you guys i think this is what happens when it freezes and the dogs aren't protecting the animals the smallest ones get taken first and those little guys would be food for even a raccoon or a possum could eat them something got into this stuff last night probably another very hungry raccoon or possum I actually went and put this patio heater out here for homelander because it's really well ventilated and he seems to be really healthy and well even though he only has a three-sided structure and that thing is still burning thankfully now this is as cold as it will be for the next three days it's going to stay this temperature in the 20s and with wind chill it's probably going to go down to about eight degrees or less now i could break this water up but he's also an ostrich and ostrich can go days without water i stand corrected an ostrich can actually go about two weeks without having water so he's going to be fine in here for the next two days after two three days i'm going to go ahead and let him out so he can go out with the rest of his buddy but he's still doing well in here and he's got tons and tons of food and that food also keeps him warm because it keeps his metabolism going this guy is also burning here the wind was really bad but karen and kevin did well through the night they stayed out of the wind in there and karen and kevin got to be together get over no no kevin don't do that Stop it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave him be. He can also go a couple days without water. Even his water is frozen, you guys. This is awful. Okay, okay, calm down, Kevin. I'll let you go. No, 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 don't do that. Well, at least he's staying warm over there. Also, if any of you guys are new to the channel, that's Kevin trying to attack me, not trying to escape. He cares more about hurting me than he does about getting out of there. For some reason, Remington got stuck in this corner over here. He seems to be thriving as well. I'm actually really surprised. Whatever got our ducks must have not been a coyote. Because if I was 
was a coyote and I was coming through here, I would have gotten Remington first. He would be very easy prey. I'm gonna look around and see if there's any sign of those little guys before I give up searching. I'm also gonna check on the bees, although I'm sure they're very dormant right now. Okay. Trigger warning if you don't wanna see a wing. But yeah, guys, my suspicion was confirmed. I'm not showing you the bloody part, but I did find the wing of one of our white call ducks. Uh, hopefully the brown one is still out there somewhere, but I can't see it. I don't see any activity here with the bees. Makes sense. That's something I didn't mention in the last video is that when the when the temperature drops like this, wild animals out there don't go to sleep. They just hunt all night and they don't stop. They need food to keep themselves warm. And although I'm really heartbroken because I love those little call ducks, I also didn't even name them. And I'm just really surprised that they didn't go after Remington, who basically got stuck in this little area, even though that gate is wide open. So old Uncle Ben's gonna get back into setting his coon traps. The day of reckoning is coming. That is so cool. They're just sitting there on the ice. I guess we just have three ducks now. And it, oh no! This water trough is frozen over. Oh, that's thick. I'm gonna go catch some fish and set these traps around the property tonight. I'll also put cat food in them. But now for the moment of truth, let's see which of my animals died last night. You can hear the goats in there. Oh, is that a wallaby? Okay, the cappies are in fact alive. It's a good call putting this little heat lamp here. Hello, good morning, Gort. Gort and Qualmdales. They have this nice little area here that stays warm all night. Let's check on their water. It's right here. Oh, a little bit of ice here too. Look at that because it's right next to this garage door. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and break this. Yo, it's not a lot of ice, but still some ice. That's insane. All the rat types seem to be doing really well. The goats are doing well. And also just the body heat of these animals warms this place up a little bit. But look, yeah, they're hanging out right there under that heat lamp. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put poggers in here to kind of calm these boys down. Also having poggers in here will desensitize the wallabies to other random animals that they're not familiar with, which I'm sure this is doing right here with the goats. I need to get some more rat type feed over at bar none. But for now, all these animals are happy and healthy. I spent a little bit of time with them last night. Kind of a blessing that I get to spend all this time with them in such a small space. They get to learn to like each other. And it helps them get more comfortable with me, as you can see. This man nibbles my hand. The baby started off last night attacking everything and jumping on him. This man just loves to attack people and grab them for no reason at all. But he's in a good mood today. Good morning, the baby. I want to shake your hand. Thank you, sir. This precious baby boy is nice and warm. And it surprisingly doesn't smell that bad in here. Good morning, Petunia. Her and this little Technoblade boy have just been hanging out. Petunia is my little baby and she loves me, but Technoblade is still getting used to me. See that little man over there? But it's been really cool getting to spend all this time with these guys because they're all warming up to me a lot. And they're going to like me even more whenever I come back with a bunch of feed for them later today. But it's so cool to just have all these guys in here crowding around me like this. I can't wait to bring them back a ton of food. It's going to be so fun. There's also some chemistry between Technoblade and James Charles. Do you guys know what's wrong with this emu's eye? What is that skinny thing on the side of his eye? Look at that. What is that? This is the best thing ever. Just sitting in here with all of these guys staring at me this literally cured my depression tonight i'm gonna go ahead and hang up the rest of the lights so this place looks a lot more pretty and cute once that's all set up i'll even bring big ounce in here so he can run around and play with everything also you guys i was too busy setting everything up for these animals so i didn't even take time to edit the setup well here's some little clips for you guys from that good evening everybody i'm here with b alt we're getting this <gasps> hobbers and queen love running around and not being trapped in the bus non-stop for three days straight while contract come and go that's right guys i trapped my dogs in a bus for three days straight they were so pent up that they actually ran on the walls here uh, but this is what they do when they're bored they like to get on the trampoline and jump and attack each other non-stop also i cured poggers anorexia because all he had to do in that bus was just eat and sit and fart now we're stringing up the lights all around the property and the last place we have to string up lights is right here beautiful man here is going to help me take this Hey, and we're gonna create a fort. Seems really safe. Ooh. <laughs> we got that one up there. And how's about you go up there now, Brandon? How's about you uh, put life and limb on the line for aesthetic? Now we're gonna spread all this out. This is a stupid. Whoa, a young man. This is me up here. You can't see the face. It's me. Trust me. Uh, I'm the one up there right now cutting this tree. We used that big pile of dirt that was right here to create a little slope so that we could get the animals up in there. It rapper and artist the baby is here visiting us from Cleveland, Ohio. He lives in Cleveland, Ohio. Isn't that right, the baby? Why are 
Why, yes, I do live in Cleveland, Ohio. It is me, hit rapper and artist, the baby. The ducks will be just fine in negative three degrees. And the baby's over here trying to do something to this adorable little plant here. I don't know what he's trying to do to this plant, but it's kind of cringe. Stop that, the baby. It's just a plant. I burned the majority of this stump, and we have tons of hay here as well. And we got all this dirt so we can have a pad for the new building. Look at this. We still have the original sign. This sign was actually for the old barn whenever it used to be a chop shop where people cut up old cars and sell them for parts. Have this little heater right here, this propane heater if we lose power. It's not going to be enough to kill them all from CO2 poisoning and I don't believe in things that I can't see. So I don't believe in CO2 or the poisoning. Also, check this out, you guys. Look at this. I put this in here myself, remember? Fortnite balls. You remember this, you guys? From springtime when we made this pad? Anyways, we're pretty set up here now. This bus is filled with fresh hay and I'm going to let the dogs sleep in here or they're going to sleep in the house or in the barn if they want to. I also found the infinite firewood glitch, as you guys can see, a uh, name of cutting down a tree. Whoa, that show sure was fun, wasn't it, guys? What do you think of that epic setup montage, Technoblade? What are your thoughts, Petunia? Whoa, was that hit rapper and artist, the baby? Oh, looks like the goat's ripped up by insulation already because he got stuck in here because he had to be a parkour artist. He had to do his epic parkour moves. No, stop. Stop going back there. Okay, I don't think this is too big of a deal. This should keep that from happening again. The baby's all uppity again today and he's chasing the animals around, so I'm gonna go ahead and wear him out. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tie!